Hi and welcome to Let's Talk eBay. My name is Rich Bassini. Today is October 28, 2020. Thank you for tuning in. I just want to start off by saying thank you to all the new subscribers who recently subscribed to my channel. It is greatly appreciated. Hope you like the content and come back for more. If this is the first time visiting my YouTube channel, I like to talk about online reselling and everything and anything that deals with e-commerce. So you're here. Welcome. I hope you get a little takeaway from it. Um, I'm going to try to be brief with this video here if this, uh, because like I said, I know I say it all the time and then it, goes, it protracts into a lot longer and I do apologize about that. You know, I was just thinking when I was sitting here, you know, before I always prep before I do a video, um, you would think if the person who did 1,271 videos by now would have it down to the science, but I really don't at times. Before, just now, before I was getting ready to uh, do this video, I thought my mic was all set up and I'm over here because I always test and I can never express that enough. You got to test, 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 like for me, right? And if I didn't test uh, the mic, the audio on here, I would have been doing this whole video probably for, let's say, maybe a half hour. Let's see, sometimes I run into over an hour. And you find out your audio is not working. And then when you go back to play it to start editing the video, it's like, oh, what year is it? Oh my God, there's no sound. And I notice. I got this Blue Yeti mic, it was given to me, my, my brother had given it to me because he said, you know, he's got a different mic and he said, hey, you want this here? It's the Blue Yeti. Uh, it's this guy right over here. Let me just show you guys. It's, uh, it's this guy right here. It's a nice mic. I love it. Heavy, heavy. Made very well. I have to honestly say, guys, if you're going to start a YouTube channel and you're going to buy your mic, get one of these. I mean, this thing is heavy. It's got at least weigh two pounds, I would think, or a pound and a half. It's heavy. The bass. All metal, very good. It's very, it's a really good mic. Uh, I'm so glad. Uh, I was using a lab tech mic for the longest time. It had a little stick type that you just folds up, whatever. I was using that. And matter of fact, the one I, the very one I used when I started my YouTube channel, I put it up. It's on eBay for sale. <laughs> so, yeah, it was a little hard to part with it, but I said, you know what? You can't compare a lab tech mic to a, you know, uh, a Blue Yeti mic. This is really nice. It plays nice. It's got all these different settings too. If you're gonna. If you're doing like an interview with somebody or you're doing a podcast and someone's sitting across and you can turn the dial, it's got these little dial settings on the back here and you could adjust them so you could hear the person in the front and the back, you know. Right now I got it facing towards the front. But, you know, just thinking though, you know, before I get into, you know, the Let's Talk eBay part, um, you know, when, I, when it comes to doing a video, I realize to myself, I got a little wood came up there. And I know, like they say, you know, I, I tell people too, in some cases, that, you know, YouTube is the gateway to the world. I mean, everybody's going to see you on YouTube, you know? And it's like, but, but the reality of it all is you're talking to a webcam. And the thing is, I found that, like, sometimes people get nervous, they get apprehensive. I read that in some of the sites, like, oh, I want to know what to talk about. Or people get a little camera shy. Listen, you know, when I was younger, I was always like that. I was always a quiet kid, very quiet and very shy in times and stuff. And, you know, I always kept to myself and stuff like that. And I found out, not only from my own experiences growing up, but I found out as through time, knowing other people like that there, there comes a time and a place when you just break out. It's always the quiet ones. I don't know if you guys ever noticed that. It's always the quiet ones. They start out quiet. And then as they get older, they start becoming more open to uh, things. And that's how I was. I was always quiet no matter what. Even in high school and junior high, elementary school, I was always quiet. And, uh, but it's okay. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It was just, I was just a very quiet, reserved person, you know, kid. Um, you know, my studies came first and stuff like that. I, you know, I came home from school and, you know, do my schoolwork and so on and study and stuff like that. But I always stayed focused on the things uh, that really meant a lot to me. But doing a YouTube channel, I mean, you know what? When you're looking into that, that, that webcam or if you've got a camera, a digital video camera, however you're videotaping, you know, you're making your YouTube videos, you just got to be yourself. You know, relax, take it easy. Sometimes I used to, when I first started, I, I was like kind of like a little apprehensive. I said, geez, I go, man, I'm, you know, I'm just going to start a YouTube channel. Is anybody going to watch my videos? You know, because I always felt like, you know, what am I going to talk about? And are people going to really be interested in stuff I'm putting out there, you know, the information. But, you know, and I was a little, you know, nervous, not nervous, but a little, appreh a little apprehensive, like as far as like, you know, looking at the webcam and thinking, you're not talking to billions of people. You're talking to one little webcam, which I'm talking to a little HP webcam over here. And, uh, you know, it's nothing to be scared about or, you know, apprehensive or nervous about. It's um, the only thing I will say when it comes to creating a video, a uh, YouTube channel, 
is, you know, be authentic, you know, put out pretty good content the best you can if you're first starting out. My first videos, when I did my first ones, I look back at them every now and then. I go to the very first one. And uh, I look at those videos and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> this is what it's, I'm not saying they're any better now, but they're a lot better, from my, from my standards, they're a lot better now than they were back, you know, back in 2013 when I registered with the YouTube. But, you know, folks, <clears throat> if you're going to start a YouTube channel, don't be, uh, don't be nervous about it. <clears throat> um, excuse me. Uh, because there's nothing, to be, there's nothing to be nervous about. Just be yourself, you know. That's it. And, you know, let your channel grow organically, you know. Um, if you have a niche, like I said in my other videos, if you have a niche where you are, you don't know what to start, you know, start a YouTube channel about whatever, you, whatever you like. I didn't know what to start either, but you know what? Got, but you know, I didn't know what to do at first. When I first registered with YouTube, I didn't know either. And I said, "Geez, what am I going to do?" And I have to honestly say, and I have to give kudos. It was eBay that got me started with this here. And then, like I said in my other videos, if you follow some of my other videos, one thing branched off into another. And how eBay? This is why. I I say, I give accolades and I say, thank you, eBay, for helping me out with this because they did. People say, how did eBay help you out with a YouTube channel? Well, I was doing uh, demo videos, sneak peek videos, and intro videos. And, you know, doing those videos, I figured, you know, because at first when you start, it's like, what am I going to talk about? You know, what am I going to do? You know? So I started doing demo videos. And what I would do is I take those videos, you know, and demo videos and sneak peek videos and intro videos. But the demo videos, basically demo videos, I would incorporate them in my, in my eBay listings. And uh, if you guys ever want to know how I do that, <clears throat> drop a link below and I'll show you how I do how I how it's done. Um, I don't do it for everything. It the only thing I will say what's good about demo videos, uh, if you're gonna you know electronic product, if you're gonna do like a, a demo on electronic product, a digital clock radio, maybe a laptop, you wanna just get the basics, you know, tell a tell a potential buyer that it works and you know, you wanna help them set it up in the beginning. Because if I look at my when I look at my old videos, I still to this day still get comments on the old videos I put out for printers, digital clock radios, um Oh, man, there's some other stuff. Uh, even like on some of the Keurigs, like some things like that. But basically, I would say a good majority is the digital clock radios and some keyboards. When I sold IBM, you know, IBM uh, Microsoft keyboards and mouse, I get, I get comments like that uh, asking, you know, how, or like if it comes to a digital clock radio, how do you set the clock radio on a Sony or Panasonic thing? And I would tell them, which I don't own them, I just direct them to I'd say, well, I'll give you, I'll send, I'll, I'll send you the website um, to where you can download the manual. And you could read it over there how to say because the demo videos, when I did those demo videos, those weren't my personal items. Those were items I picked up at thrift stores. And I would take them home, clean them up, test them, make sure they work. And the whole premise behind that, behind doing those demo videos, was to show the potential eBay buyer this is what I, you know, this is what, you know, that I have. This is what it's working. I would talk about its condition. And I would tell them it's going to be up on eBay or whatever if you're interested and you can check it out. But, um, I talked about that before with, when it comes to between a YouTube channel. I was, matter of fact, I was just watching a guy yesterday <laughs> um, who's he's, a, he's, based, he's an eBay seller, and he's, every time I go to that person's site, they talk about, okay, this is what we sold today. Don't please don't ask me the website, I, you know, the URL for the uh, YouTube channel. Um, you can find, you'll find that out with other sellers, believe me. I am going to, however, I am going to show you the sales I made so far for the month of October. And, um, and nothing to write home about, folks. It's nothing to write home about, but at least I made, I made sales, you know. So I'll go over that really quick. But what I want to talk about outside of all that other stuff, what I really want to get, you know, get down to the, 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 the nitty-gritty here as far as like with this, this YouTube channel, this YouTube video, I should say, is, you know, the, the holiday season's approaching us fast. And there's a couple of things. I got like, I think a total of four windows, and I want to share some stuff with you guys. Um, so let me go, at, let me jump out of here. And we're going to go into so a split screen here because I'm going to put my, you know, put me on the side over there like I always do. <laughs> People who follow me they say, this guy's always got a pit. He's always got a video of him on the side of that thing there. Why don't I just keep it one full screen? I don't know. I think it keeps it interesting, you know. And I got my little Logitech uh, webcam all set up over here too, you know. So, uh, yeah, I picked that little thing up. Uh, I think I took my other video for like 10 bucks, you know. I got the whole thing, the tripod and the, it's the Logitech C920. $10 with the little stand and everything. It's great. Really good. Um, yeah, I love that little thing. But anyway, um, let me bump out of here. And then I want to you know, expand a little on these topics. And then I want to close this video out. Uh, but before we get started, though, 
Um, I just want you guys to know, especially if you're new, if you're a new, you know, either you're a new subscriber or you're just hitting this channel for the first time, I do not read uh, everything verbatim on these websites, nor do I have any affiliate links with them whatsoever. So when I tell you guys out there to go directly to the website, I'm not trying to, you know, coach you to go there because I'm getting a kickback on. I have no affiliate links. If I did, I'd be up front and honest and say, listen, I got affiliate links with these websites. And each time you click them on, I'm going to get a little kickback. I don't. I wish I did, to be honest with you, because, you know, that's another thing, too. I am trying to grow this YouTube channel. I'm trying to, I don't know if it's going to be possible. I'm trying, but maybe you guys could help me out. I'm trying to make this YouTube channel grow to 1,000 subscribers. That is my milestone. You know, PewDiePie had a milestone. If you, if you guys know him, maybe, maybe you have, maybe you haven't. Um, it, you know, PewDiePie, I think his milestone was to hit 100 million subscribers. And he did. I think he's at, I think today he's at 105 million or 106 million subscribers. That would be awesome. I don't think I would ever see that in my lifetime anyway, but it would be awesome. Um, I'd be happy with a million subscribers. But the thing is, my milestone for 2020, before the new year, I don't know. It's got to be based on you guys out there. If you like me, hopefully you like me. Hope you like the content you put out. Um, if you guys could subscribe to, you know, subscribe to my channel, that'd be great. If I can get this to 1,000 subscribers, then I could join the YouTube Partner Program. I think I could do Super Chats. I think this, like I said in other videos, there's other little perks involved with it when you hit that 1,000 subscriber mark. That is the hardest part. And you want to know why that 1,000 mark, that 1,000 subscriber mark means a lot. It's because YouTube emptied up the threshold. Okay? Before all of this was going on, even with the small little group of subscribers I had back in the day, I was still, according to them, I was still making money because I used to have the ads run on my thing. And then for some apparent reason, um, they changed it. They tripped it up. Oh, you got to have a thousand hours. You got to have a, a thousand subscribers. And this is what to become a YouTube partner program. You got a 4,000 hours of watch time and a thousand subscribers to be considered to be in a YouTube partner program. And... When I looked at the earnings and stuff, and I, you know, the funny thing is, I, if I'm not mistaken, I thought I contacted them, and, you know, I said, hey, what's the deal here, you know, I mean, this is what I have over here, my earnings and stuff like that, and I asked them if they could, you know, do something with that, can I get, can I get that there, and then they have, like, these, all these little rules and regulations on how to get money, you got to wait, I think, a month, and you have to hit a certain amount of money in order to get paid, it's some, there's some little things like that, you know, and I said, yeah, heck, what, it doesn't even bother, you know, I said, it's, it's their platform, and that's their rules and regulations. So they emptied up the threshold to um, to 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time, which I blew that away a while back. So, you know, but getting the 1,000 subscribers has got to be the hardest part, I find, you know. And let me tell you something. Even though I have where I am right now, I believe I'm at 820, I think 820 subscribers, which if you guys out there following me, thank you so much. And I also want to say, too, this is why I always say thank you to all the new subscribers before, before I always stop my videos. There were times, I think I did a video a couple days back uh, talking about that, where I try to respond to you guys when you when you leave a comment. No, comments I can respond to, but when it comes to a new subscriber and I want to you know reach out to you guys, for some apparent reason, I tried it. I even did it live on, on uh, you know, I was doing my video on um, Gmail, because I get, I get notification on Gmail, you have a new subscriber. I would hit the reply button. You know, and I would tell them, thank you so much for, you know, thank you for subscribing to my channel. It's greatly appreciated. And, and then I get a message back from, I, and it's on, it's on a video. You can see it's done live. I don't know which one it is, folks. I'm sorry. I really don't know. But it's on there, and it shows oh, your, your message wasn't delivered or the, the uh, email address was not valid or something like that. I said, dang, man. But I said, I want to thank these people. You know, I, wanna, I figured I could do it by email, you know. Couldn't do it. So... That's why whenever I start my videos off, I always say thank you to all the you know to all the new subscribers. I really do apologize. It's not my fault. Uh, I, I want to reach out to you guys, so I can't do it via by email. At least unless you guys know a way, I can't. I, I can't. I try to reach out to you guys, thanking you so much for uh, you know uh, subscribing to my channel. All right, listen. Um, I don't want to again. I'm rambling on again. I, I just I love talking to you guys. I love doing YouTube, and I love eBay. You know, it's like. These are my two things, you know what I'm saying? So let me bump out of here really quick, and we're going to go into those windows. I think I got a total of four. You'll see what we're talking about. And I just want to talk about holiday ship, you know, the, about the holiday coming up and stuff like that, and share some stuff with the eBay if information. I go to the eBay community chat board, okay? So let me bump out of here really quick. Okay, before I get started, I just want to go over really quick and show you the uh, sales I did so far for October. <laughs> nothing, nothing great, but 
I just want to share it with you guys. Uh, I'm going to work my way from the top down. So uh, it's picking up from October 25th. Um, we got this Time Magazine uh, game that's brand new. It's, you know, Factory Sea was never opened. Um, as you can see here, I got that for $4.99. I would have buy it now. They paid for the shipping. Here I have a 1992 Sony Watchman. Uh, FD290 is the model number, handheld black and white TV. Uh, this one here was nice. I asked 1999, that's what I got for it. Um, the thing with this TV is because they changed from analog to digital, um, when I tested out the unit, I couldn't get the TV to work. It just came out static. Uh, the way I would think in order to make this thing work, which I don't think the people are going to do it, they would have to buy a converter box to convert the analog into digital, and I think it may work. I think. <laughs> but anyway, the person bought it um, so far thank God knock on wood that must be happy with it um, I didn't get it back I hope not so uh, yeah we got that I got that going out um, here is the vintage Farberware two to, two to four cup percolator now I sold quite a few of these here uh, matter of fact you can see another one right below it now I don't know which one it is but there's one of these it might be this one if this is the super fast or maybe this one here super fast one whatever yeah now here's the difference this one here um, I got I asked twenty nine ninety nine for it and I got it really clean dish like brand spanking new. Matter of fact, I wanted to keep it for myself. That has to be the cleanest, the newest <laughs> vintage <laughs> Farberware coffee pot I've re you know I, I've ever purchased. I got that from a thrift store, and I was so as the band talking to my family. I said, "What if I should keep this here?" But I'm an instant coffee drinker guy. I know it was crazy, but and I said to myself, you know, maybe I'll get off the instant coffee and go with that, you know. And uh, but my family's not really a coffee drinker. You know, so that's why I think, you know, the instant coffee because a lot of them they like their tea drinkers. So I wasn't going to buy it just to heat water up. So I figured, let me get rid of it. But that one there, that particular one is like brand new, even a super fast one. But anyway, um, yeah, so this here sold for $29.99. This one here, the white Keurig, <clears throat> same price, $29.99. Real, this was really clean. I mean, this white one here, again, there's so many times I felt like keeping these things myself, but I say, you know. That's what I buy it for to sell it. And sometimes you fall in love with these things, you know. It's like I can't help it. You know, it's, that's what happens. So anyway, um, and so that's all for twenty nine ninety nine. That's what I was asking for. This one here, um, it, it was the, uh, let's see, the, this is the one that didn't have the uh, strainer in there. But the pot was clean inside and out. Um, it's the super fast one. You plug it in. It doesn't take long for the water to heat up. That was twenty nine nine. I think the person ended up selling it. I I, I I accepted, if I'm not mistaken. It was either twenty five or twenty six dollars, something like that. There, because they want, well, you know, people want a little deal. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I got that there. Plus, they pay for the shipping, as you see there. Um, this one over here. Uh, this Mario Kart Mini Anti Gravity RC whatever controller. Uh, I was asking nineteen ninety nine for it. I think they offered fifteen for it, and I took it. I took it. I did. Let me get it out of here. I don't want it. <laughs> here is now. If you ever see the girl, my the clothing on my on my uh, eBay listings, just to let you guys know, to give you a heads up, the clothing that you see is from my daughters. Okay, uh, they're not thrift store bought. These were bought brand new, and now of course they're pre owned. Um, but yeah, whenever you see girls' clothing, shoes, boots, jewelry, whatever I have on there, I'm trying to clear them out. Once they're gone, I don't think I'm going to be buying. Well, this was given to me. My kids, you know, my daughter's gave it to me. You want to try to sell it, Dad? Because I'm going to donate if not. So yeah, why not? That's so I'm in the business for, you know. So they gave me clothing. So the clothing that you see on these li on my eBay listings, I'll give you my URL before I close out of this part. And, um, you know, if you want to check it out, you know, if that's your size, of course, please do. Uh, yeah, but, you know, this one here was uh, it's a mud. It's called from mud. The company's mud. Uh, woman's gray and white uh, floral long sleeve top size extra small. And we're asking, I was asking seven nine. I think they offered me five for it. I took it. They paid the shipping and handling. He has another cure. That is one over here. And there's another one. I, I get quite a bit of these here, though. I have to honestly say, not too often, but when I get them, I snatch them right up. This was going for $39.99, and I counted the person. Um, they want I, I wanted $39.99 uh, $39 for it, and I think I counted for $30, $29 or $30, something like that. I wanted to, I wanted to give a deal. 
or something like that. And I had to be either twenty nine or thirty dollars. I didn't want to go too low. Sometimes these people make low ball offers, and I said, "No, that that thing is a lot. That's that's that was that's another clean one." And that was a good system, you know. And they got it for a good deal. It was either twenty nine or thirty dollars. Give or take a dollar. Yeah, and here again, women's shoes, L, women's gray wedge ankle strap shoes, size eight. I was asking, yeah, was not. Oh no, this is with the ten percent discount. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now you see over here it says one best offered. I got to keep that in mind, folks. This one here says uh, biting out with this little slash there. That's when I was offering ten percent discount. Uh, that's what created that sale. And um, yeah, that I was asking eight ninety. I was asking nine ninety. No, it was nine ninety nine, and they got it for eight ninety nine. So that's sold, and they paid for the shipping, of course. Yeah, right there, ten percent discount. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. Um, and then over here, saleable plastic small bags for jewelry. You know, jewelry bags, whatever. That's why I call them. Uh, there were different, three different, uh, two different sizes, right? Yeah, uh, four by four, yeah, and four and two by threes, yeah, yeah, four, yeah, whatever it is, you could see that. <laughs> Seven ninety nine is what I got for it. Uh, this one here, Buzz Lightyear, what a nightmare this was. This was a re This was a selling. Uh, I sold it once before. When I had it, when I had it here, I tested it out, put fresh, brand new batteries in there. It was working. What he would do is you would hit the button or whatever it is. No, the sensor. No, you hit the button. I think they have a button there. Yeah. And he would say something like, Buzz Lightyear to the rescue or whatever like that. And he would move his arm up like this. You know, like, oh, his arm would go like that there. So, like, whatever. And um, it was working for me. When I sent it, I sold it. The buyer got it. Said, hey, this thing's not working. Sends it back to me. And when he got it back to me, I thought well, maybe they broke it. And I tried it out. I put fresh batteries in there again. And it didn't. The arm didn't move up all the way, so that's why I ended up putting it for uh, parts not working. I asked for eight ninety nine for it, and the best off was accepted. I don't know what he got. I don't know. I think he asked for me six or seven dollars, whatever it was. It was a cheaper than that price there. I can't remember everything verbatim, and uh, that's all. So um, yeah, and then of course you got September. I'm not going to go into the September things. I mean, I don't want to go month after month. I, I didn't, you know, for October, um, it it was okay. The sales weren't like really stupendous, you know, stupendous to you, but. At least the stuff is moving. I really would like to move the stuff out I have and get fresh stuff and better stuff. And I keep saying that in my other videos, but you know, until the stuff moves, I really don't want to keep buying too much stuff. And because then what happens is the old inventory sits and sits and sits. This game here, this game here, I had this here for almost a year or maybe a year and a half to two years. Yeah, really, seriously. It kept relisting and relisting and relisting. <laughs> I said, no more of those games. And, folks, just to share with you guys the rule of thumb, if you're going to buy, this is me, okay? This is only this is me speaking, not you guys. Make, you beg to differ. If you're going to buy puzzles or game boards, and, again, this is me for myself, I will not buy any open boxes like that. I will not buy any open box like that. For the simple reason is, if you're selling a 1,500-piece puzzle or a 2,000-piece puzzle, whatever it may be, and the buyer, and it's used, it's pre-owned, it's been opened, and the buyer is doing a puzzle, <coughs> and that one piece is missing after they spent hours on hours putting that thing together, you know, trying to put it together, you know, <coughs> they are not going to be a happy camper. Seriously. They are not going to be happy if that one piece is missing. So my rule of thumb is when I buy these items, they got to be brand spanking new, wrapped up. That goes for board games and puzzles, all right? Just a little word of caution. You could do it if you want, but, you know, I want to keep a good name with eBay, you know, top rated and stuff like that. I want to I want to stay there. I want to maintain that, that uh, you know, that good, you know, that good um, selling uh, business, whatever you want to call it. But seriously, <clears throat> all right. Um, let's go over here now. We're going to bump out of the screen here. And I want to share this with you guys. This is from the American Merchandiser. Now, I believe this is, um, this, I think you can get this for free, this magazine. And it's called American Merchandiser, the industry, the industry resource for dealers and vendors. Now, um, I picked this particular, uh, email. It was given to me, it was sent to me by email. And, um, you know, what I picked, the reason I picked it out is because, the holiday is coming. Maybe it might be it might be of interest to you guys. So I figured, let me put it out there. This story came out. Well, yeah, this story came out October 27, 2020. So it's fairly new information. A lot of stuff I put out is fairly new information. But let me give the URL, as I said earlier. The URL for this is going to be 
www.americanmerchandiser, one word, dot com, okay? And you could just, you know, I, I'm not going to put the slash and all that stuff there, the holiday and stuff. You could just put in the holiday gifts and toys or whatever. Um, I don't read everything verbatim either. That's why I give you the URLs. But you will see me kicking out the dates, all right? So it goes on to say here, yeah, if you're ever wondering which toys, uh, yeah, which toys kids will be asking Santa Claus for this year, American Merchandise has, American Merchandiser has rounded up a list of some of the top branding gifts and toys that are sure to make their eyes light up once they open the package. Now, I'm just going to look at the highlights. I'm not going to read all of this verbatim, okay? So that's why I'm sharing this information with you. Let's go to the highlights. Um, here, mini basketball play set. Now, if you reach out to this company, I'm only putting out there. Now, you might say, well, if you guys call these people up and find out and stuff like that, Please don't, you know, co you know, contact me and say, I call these companies up and, you know, this, that, and the other thing. You can look into them. You can find out. I'm just putting the information out there. They have a telephone number, and in some cases they have the, uh, yeah, and they got the uh, URL well, website there. You can check it out. So they got this little mini basketball play set, okay? And it says, great for kids ages three and up. This mini basketball set comes with a hoop and all and so on and so forth. You can see it yourself. Puzzles. Here's puzzles over here. That's a nice puzzle. Wizard of Oz. Wow. Thousand piece. See, now something like this, I would buy this here because it'd be brand new, hopefully plastic wrapped, whatever, and I wouldn't have a problem selling something like that. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, um, <clears throat> you can check this out. It's Kelly's Gift Shop Supplies. They get a phone number and they got the uh, website there. Blind Bag Disney Series. Okay. Um, now, some things I ain't familiar because my kids are growing now. They're in a, <laughs> they're growing up now, my kids. So I, I don't know half of these things here. When I hear these things, I don't know because I'm like kind of out of the loop, so to speak. Um, yeah, the blind bag. Okay, so it's a blind bag Disney series. These blind bags hold nine different collectible figurines, officially licensed by Disney. Your customers will never know what they're going to get so it makes a surprise so much more fun sold in packs of 25 with the box display okay so again this may be something you guys may be interested in pull back motorcycles i guess those are ones you pull back and you let them go i guess spring uh, with a spring loaded with i don't know i think that's i think that's what they are pull back motorcycles says the uh, the classic pull and zoom car is now available in motorcycle form featuring a variety of, a variety of different colors this fleet of motorcycles measures about four inches each <clears throat> and that's the company over there and I have no affiliates with these companies whatsoever so I'm putting it out there plush buddies this one here says these adorable plush buddies are sure to win the hearts of your customers whether they are an adult or a child available in a variety of sea creatures including starfish sea turtles crabs sharks and more they are soft and squishy to touch and you can go to the website and Look into this. Here's another one. Yahtzee to go. This game is favorite available in top yeah, in a top go container. So users could take it with them wherever they go. The container comes with five dice and everything for your customers' needs to play the game. Here's another one. Furzet's plush Betty Betty birthday cake. <laughs> okay. Send this to me. Uh Furzet's are scented furry friends. That come packaged inside of a fun yoga cup and a complete with the clone uh, with the clear dome. The bitty birthday cake pushes is as adorable, huggable, and smells like a birthday cake. <laughs> also includes a sweet recipe to try at home. Okay, and then you got remote control, walkie, walking and meowing cats. Oh, interesting. Okay, that's something I didn't even know they had stuff like that. Um, you could check that out as well. And they also have the cell Stealth Copter RH66 Comanche. Okay. And, you know, like I said, you can get in touch with these people and, you know, see what deals you could work out. I'm just throwing it out there, guys. Here's a puzzle Bible, hood and wooden blocks. Okay. Nice little thing. And another pl here's another plush thing, Plur plush purses. Little girls are going to be absolutely uh, going to absolutely adore these plush purses available in cute animals, including unicorns, poodles. They are stuffed characters, double as small as a small purse. Each order comes with seventy-two pieces on display. And yes, who can forget those slime? Slime. It says over here, um, what a child, <laughs> what a child does doesn't love to play with slime. It says this slime comes with twelve barrels of slime. 
all in one assorted colors yellow blue red and green they also make a great stocking stuffers here we got Marvel Adventures Captain America Titan Hero 20 inch action figure these things I've seen around every now and then. I don't know if people are buying them for in you know, like a Walmart or whatever, but I see these every now and ended up on thrift stores. Dude, he's like, oh, Captain America, like you know, whatever. Uh, anyway, you can get this here from this company, and here's a 15 inch night set. Okay, look at that. Dollar item direct. Okay, no, I'm just looking at the uh, the thing here. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Here's a dragon kite. Well, it's, that'd be nice for the fall to play around with, but we're talking Christmas. <laughs> and here's another one over here, Amelia Fairyland Dolls. Okay, Amelia. Amelia's interchangeable outfits have uh, royal skirts, translucent glittery wings, and removable strappy high heels, posable at the neck, shoulders, and hips. These are beautiful dolls that come in assorted colors, and you can check them out at that company, Dollar Days International. And last but not least, Pop Out's Grab Bag. Available on popular licensed brands, including JoJo, SeaWorld, Paw Patrol, Peppa Pig, and more. Each, each grab bag includes a 6x9 coloring boards, three markers, and 25 stickers. The bag makes up, makes up makes for the perfect travel accessories to keep the kids occupied. And there you have it, folks. And I gave you the URL to that company. As you can see right there, it's American Merchandise. So let's bump out of here. And here's another one. <clears throat> this deals with Amazon. Did you know Amazon has a huge product market? Uh, <laughs> of course we all do. But anyway, I wanted to share the story with you. It came out October 28, 2020. It goes, and it's from How to Geek. So it's www.howtogeek, one word, dot com. And the story you're looking for is, did you know Amazon has a huge product market? It's come out October 28, 2020. I think I said that right if I did. I'm sorry. And it goes on to say here, Amazon and eBay, two of the largest retailers, but people don't often think of them as being similar. Amazon is, isn't just for the new brand products. It also has a huge marketplace for used items. And then it goes on to say lots of things Amazon aren't sold. Wait, lots of things on Amazon aren't sold by Amazon. Okay, I had to make sure I reread that right. Okay. There was a time when Amazon only sold books. Back then, everything was owned by and shipped from the company. As Amazon Marketplace has grown, this has become less and less the case. By August 2020, 53% of all products sold on Amazon were from third-party sellers. <clears throat> Just get a little swig of water here, folks. Okay. Um... And then it goes on to say, understands who owns ships Amazon products. Again, um, I gave you the, re, uh, the what do you call it, the URL. You could read more into this here. The they do have active hyperlinks, and for those when I always say active hyperlinks, for those who don't know, I'm not saying you don't, but I'm just saying you, you'll know on a page when your arrow turns to a hand like this. See my little, see my arrow here? It's an arrow. Then when it turns to a hand, that's active hyperlink, and that's why I tell people to please go directly to the active hyperlinks for the simple reason is. In order to activate them, you got to be on that website. Okay, that's why I tell you, I'm not like I said earlier. I am not getting anything for, uh, you know, having you guys go there. I'm not getting any kickbacks. All right. So, um, yeah, you you can read more into this here. Okay, Amazon's money used market. All right, you could check us out. Um, I'm not going to read all this here, but I probably will. I don't know if I'm going to leave it up. I may I may come back to it, but for time being, I'm going to leave it out. I'm just scrolling down here, see what they got. Yeah, it's got some more stuff over here, more active hyperlinks. Yeah. Uh, you guys could check it out if you get a chance. This is the story you're looking for, okay, guys? All right. A must-have eBay says, what's this? Oh, the repricing tool? Yeah, street price. I think I did a video about that. I don't want to take too much of your time. We could, You could check one of those out. Or if necessary, if you're interested, um, you could just message me a comment, and um, we'll go over that. But I think I did a video on that as well. All right, I'm going to bump out of here. And the last two windows are going to be from eBay Community Chat. <clears throat> <clears throat> um, you can see over here, it says over here, community, and you'll see it. To get there, you go www.community.ebay.com, or just do like I do. Go to Google search and just type in, you know, eBay community, and you can just you know, pop you right over here. Um, this story came out October 26, 2020, and as you can see the title, Holiday Marketing Month, How to Highlight Your Business on and Off eBay. All right. Um, Again, I'm not going to expand too much on this here. I just want to 
enlighten you guys out there. It goes on to your holiday marketing month practical guidance to help you connect with buyers and build your brand. A month's worth of marketing strategies for creating a plan ahead of, of the holiday. Week one, why brand is important. Week two, what eBay is doing for the holiday season. Uh, week three, on-site marketing eBay's promotional tools. Week four, offset marketing drive velocity to your eBay listings. And you could read more on this here. <clears throat> As you can see here, some of the, well, this is the highlight thing, online, on-site marketing. Again, you could read this here, more about the promoter listings. I did videos like this here, but the reason why I'm sharing this with you guys is because um, I feel like this information, especially if you're a newbie, or even if you are a seasoned seller, you might not have, you know, you might get a little tidbit of information that may help you out to become even a better eBay seller. So that's why I put this out here. Um, please, if you get a chance, check it out. <clears throat> um, there's, they also have a video here, Move More Inventory Faster with, uh, with Promotions, and you can check this out as well. I didn't get a chance to check this out. I think I might have seen this on their YouTube channel eBay does have a YouTube channel, folks, and they have a couple of channels, not just one. I think it's a couple, either two or three, whatever. I know that, but they they have a couple of channels there, and each one has different you know topics. So, um, but check this out if you come to the uh, this community chat board, and you could play that video, and uh, you know get it, get an idea what it's all about. Uh, <clears throat> it goes here is the advice in eight steps. I'll just read the highlights. Set your goal up front. Uh, choose your platforms. Set up your accounts and pick your merchant, uh, pick your handles. Uh, learn posting best practices at, as a, and tools. Build your followers. Shape your content for engagement. Um, link back to your eBay store and listings. Good information. Have fun with it. And then they have over here the eBay Partner Network. I highly recommend you check this stuff out. Definitely check out the eBay Partner Network too if you get a chance. Okay, especially if you're a newbie. You know, you get yourself acclimated and familiar with what's going on here. eBay has a lot of information out there for newbies and people even seasoned sellers there's things I even I've been on eBay for over 20 years there's always something you're gonna learn be it a change or an update or you know something going on in there you know and with it within their website whatever there's always something going on with eBay where you can learn from it and hopefully get takeaways from it all right check it out guys really check it out look they got another one selling one on one look at this eBay selling. Well, I'm going to leave this page up. I want to come back to this here. Hey, people may say you need to you need to know about selling. You never know because sometimes I always say this to my videos. Sometimes people will put things out there that you and I might not be familiar with or realized. You know that that, that, that this this is what they're offering or this is what's going on. This is the new change. I highly recommend you check it though. I'm going to leave this window open here. The other thing I want to share with you guys again on the eBay community chat board is the eBay for Business podcast. I can't stress it enough. Check it out. You can always go back and listen to the older you know, older issues, you know, backdated issues, okay? This one here again, oh, as you can see, where is it here? My, what did my computer just do? <laughs> um, as you can see here, <clears throat> this is the title, episode 114, right? Social Media Marketing for the Holidays. Get yourself a pen and a pad and jot down notes. These these um, podcasts, they go from, I don't know, maybe like this one's 43 minutes and 40 seconds. I think I see an even one close to an hour. But the information and takeaway you get from it is well worth it, folks. If you could take that time and initiative to check, check out these videos, the ones on the other pages I showed you, and listen to the podcast, do it like I do when you're doing listening or researching. If it's too distracting, you got to stay focused. And I don't know what you know. I guess you'll just sit there and listen to it like you would, like you listen to the radio, right? Or like I do when I'm doing research or if I'm doing listings on my eBay listings, if it's not too distracting, uh, listen to it in the background. But anyway, you get a lot of good information. And on, if you just read the basics of it, like if you go down here, it'll tell you. Griff, for those who don't know, Griff works for eBay, okay? Jim Griffith, his real name is Jim Griffith. They call him Griff. He's been, he works at eBay. I think, matter of fact, I think he was one of, one of the 
first or a couple people that started eBay, something like that. He tells you a story. Well, you'd have to ask him. He's not going to tell you in the podcast. But I remember listening to eBay radio. He talks about how he got started and stuff like that. But he was, he's was he been around them for a long time, uh, I think since the company started. But don't quote me. I'm quite sure he did say that, though. But anyway, you can read a link to it. It goes, Griff talks to, with two savvy social media marketing sellers, Cukes and Signs and Crazy Lamp Lady. I think I heard of that person. Yes, the crazy lamp lady. I think she's got a YouTube channel too. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm thinking out loud over here as I'm reading this. Yeah, yeah, because I remember I remember reading, uh, looking at her YouTube channel, the crazy lamp lady, uh, to learn how they leverage social media for boosting sales. And Brian and Griff answer questions about how to see, uh, yeah, about how to see how. Wait, about how? Okay, I was I was repeating myself twice about how to see how sales tax eBay is collecting on a seller's behalf as well as suggestions for an improvement to manage payments. That's another good topic, too, you want to know about managed payments. I'm going to listen to this here. I'm leaving this window up as well. Um, and then it says over here, to have your questions answered on eBay for Business, call. They give you the number you can call. Or you, could email, you could email them at the podcast uh, at ebay.com. Okay? Um, I highly recommend you check this out. I'm leaving this window because I want to come back to this. Matter of fact, I want to listen to this anyway. It's a new one. They usually come out on Tuesdays. This one came out. Um, if I'm not mistaken, on Tuesdays, this came out yesterday, should have a date. Yep. Oh, no, wait. This came out October 26th, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, the 26th was Monday. Would they move the date back? Oh, no, 27. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, right. It was last day of 20. Yeah, but yeah, 27. Okay, 10, 27. Usually it's on Tuesdays unless they change the dates. I don't know. Anyway, let me bump out this window and we're going to close this video out. Well, that concludes this video. I hope you found the information helpful and you got a takeaway from it. And if you did, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and share. And if you want to be updated to when I post on new videos, please hit that bell notification icon. My name is Rich Bassini. You're watching Let's Talk eBay for October 28, 2020. I'm wishing you guys all the best in sales. Until next time, bye-bye for now.